Oh my gosh, there's rolled ice cream too. I might just have to try that. We have just arrived at Lowe's. It's going to be our first field trip out. Yay! With our puppy dogs. And so a field trip, what it includes is they're going to monitor you getting in and out of your car just to make sure that that's a safe thing that you do. They want to check and make sure that you're doing it correctly so your dog isn't all over the place because parking lots are dangerous. And my mom loves to tell me that people with disabilities in wheelchairs get killed in parking lots a lot. So I'm sure that's the same with dogs if you don't manage them correctly. So once we do that, we're going to toilet our dogs so that they don't go to the bathroom inside. And then we will go inside, practice some commands, and that's that. It should be a good time. Um, one thing that you need to start deciding on is if you're going to let the public pet your dog. And that's a personal choice. I usually decide not to let people pet my dog because I noticed with my first dog he started forging which means walking in front of you and he would start anticipating people petting him so I just I just usually choose not to I didn't do it with my second dog and that's basically whenever the dog had a vest on when she didn't have her vest on she was a normal dog don't worry these service dogs they have happy lives they get to play a lot. They get to do all these fun things. But when they're working, they're working. And they usually know when they're working. And you can tell by when they have a vest. So anytime you see a service dog with a vest on, make sure that you ask before you pet. And that's it. So we will be going inside soon. Just waiting for one of the trainers to get to my car. About to go get some Mexican food. Got off campus for a little bit and uh, hopefully this is good because I've uh, been wanting some Mexican food for a couple days now. Hey, I'm here with Matt at San Jose Mexican restaurant. Traditional Mexican. We'll see how traditional it is. <laughs> Uh, and you got a huge margarita. I that can is swim giant. in it. Yeah. Yeah. Giant. I didn't know it would be that big. Yeah. And Matt, this is your first time going to um, going to team training, right? It is. What do it's you think an, so far? It's an overwhelming experience, um, but. It's so great. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. Uh, it's uh, so much to take in. Yeah. But it's among the best people I can imagine. And what do you think about your puppers? Uh, my puppers is just like me. It's amazing. <laughs> I am loving getting along with them and I'm loving interacting with them and with all the other dogs and people. Yeah, yeah. What do you think would have been nice to know before coming to team training? It would have been nice if I were aware of how much work is really involved. <laughs> yeah, it I takes thought, a lot of work. I it? thought it would be a cakewalk, but <laughs> it's not, and that's not to shy anyone away. It's just a lot of a lot of work. Yeah. But it it's does. worth it. It's definitely worth it. What are you going to order for your meal? Tacos. Tacos? I am basic. <laughs> oh. I, I think I'm going to get uh, either the enchiladas or the fajitas. It'll be a surprise. She's so interesting. <laughs> all right. Check you all later. See y'all. You need some help or something? Here are my uh, enchiladas. I'll see if I can get them. Okay. Here's your tacos. Yep. Looks good. Mm. 
good? Yeah. It's spicy. Woo! It's got a good kick. Heading over to get some ice cream. Yum. What kind of ice cream are you going to get? I can't look away from the s'mores. <laughs> that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to get chocolate with some strawberry mixed in. Good choice. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I get uh, chocolate with some strawberries mixed with yeah. it? Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. Even though I am lactose intolerant, it's okay. Because, how can you not like that? Mm-hmm. Worth the trouble? Whoa. Coolest ice cream I ever had. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> How is it? Good? Oh god. Trying to poke me with your stick. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna need chicken. None of them would want you to eat the Boy Scouts, huh? Yep. They're the best part about Boy Scouts. S'mores? Marshmallows. Yeah. I really like s'mores too. You gonna take a bite? Do Come it! On, Corbin, do, do it! it. Do it! Come on! <laughs> It might not be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be pretty. So? Darn good, eh? Oh yeah. No. I recommend this bike. Me too. I think it's called rolled ice cream and tea, ice hot. Ice, ice hot. hot. Ice hot. Oh, yeah, ice hot. Yeah. About to go on another run. Today's been pretty low key. Haven't done too much. Me and the puppers went out to exercise a little bit. They really enjoy chasing the ball and now it's time to get my own exercise and doing some laundry as well. What's great about this dorm is that you can do your laundry, which I actually was at the Northeast region for my first dog and we stayed at a hotel because they didn't have a dorm at that time. And it was pretty hard because we had our dogs with us and we also needed to do 
some laundry and so we had to go to the laundromat and get permission from the trainers so that we could go do that so it's nice that we're staying at a dorm and it just makes things 100 percent easier because everything is here there's a kitchen and there's a laundry mat so today is a low-key day because we don't have any training my puppers is right now in the kennel just taking a snooze and i am gonna go get a workout out mm -hmm.